In some parts of the country, the idea of a rain screen on siding hasn't really been a big deal. Some parts of the country, actually, it's part of code. Here in Oregon, um, rain screen is a code for most residential properties. And uh, basically, it's the idea of having an air gap between the uh, exterior uh, siding and the shell of the house. Um, it, the idea, and you can see from this picture, you have some furring strips where the cladding is going over them. And in this section right back here, if there's any moisture or water gets in there, it can fall down, but also ventilation can go up. At the very bottom and top, there are vents, and the ventilation can keep that airflow going. So if there is some moisture, either from uh, condensation, uh, from leakage, um, from you know wind-driven rain, or maybe even leakage from a plumbing uh, fixture inside the house, the ventilation and the airflow will help dry that out so it doesn't turn into mold or mildew or other type of um, organic material. Um, and these, the, you know, the process of adding the rain screen adds some labor. There are some materials cost for these furring strips, but really in the long run, it takes um, these cladding boards and make them really cosmetic only, right? Because your your water barrier is the the wrap or the insulation, the sealed insulation, and this air gap actually provides, you know, more of a screen for that moisture. Um, so the cladding, whatever siding you're using, whether it's you know some type of hardy board or, or um, you know board and batten, whatever the the siding is, becomes more. Uh, it's it's a first defense, but it also is more of a um, cosmetic treatment on the house, not the the ultimate moisture control. So if you're in an area that doesn't require this, or you haven't seen it before, whether you're um, a builder or even a um, a property owner, you may want to look and see how this might affect the cost and might also affect the security of the house. Um, simple and most versatile is a ventilated rain screen. You know, they, um, this article talks about it in Fine Home Building, great publication. And even this writer found out about it 2001, not 20 years ago. Um, but it's not hugely popular. It says it's common in high performance building, yet many builders turn this into low maintenance synthetic cladding. One of the things that we saw before was some kind of a mesh that goes behind and instead of having these furring strips and air gap, there was a mesh that went behind which in theory created ventilation, but the mesh also keeps the, the air from flowing up and down and it can also hold water. Um, and it talks about what the definition is and we'll put a link to it. Um, they talk about um, if the gap is less than 1 16th, they don't allow for airflow. Um, might be still effective, but you want to have it more um, more of an airflow than that. It also talks about the wrinkled wrap or the vertical channels. Um, it doesn't keep the siding flush. It can't keep it make the flat siding get wavy. Um, so there's many ways to do the um, the rain screen. Again, some states it's code, in Oregon it's code, and Oregon is a P&W state with a lot of rain, but you may find it's valuable as an addition to the home sealing process in other locations, even if you don't get large amounts of rain, it may keep the property to last longer.